So, logically thinking, we'll look at Tex Ritter, Nelson Rockefeller, as the next person of interest to see who he is involved with and if he has any individuals that are associated with the JFK assassination. Now, looking at Tex Ritter's background, the background that we're told, that is, he comes from a very small town in Texas. From that same town, and happens to be his friend, is another individual who is considered the second most famous person to originate from that area. So that's where we'll look next. I work in that building. Were you in the building at the time? Naturally, if I work in that building, yes, sir. Back up, man. Come on, man. No, they're taking me in because of the fact that I live in the Soviet Union. I'm just a patsy. You're a Marxist? Well, I have uh, studied Marxist philosophy, yes, sir, and also other philosophers. But are you a Marxist? I think you did admit on an earlier radio interview that you, uh, that you consider yourself a Marxist. Well, I would very definitely say that I, uh, I uh, am a Marxist. That is correct. But that, that does not mean, however, that I'm a, a uh, communist. What is the difference between the two? Well, there's a great deal of difference. Such as several uh, American parties in several countries are based on Marxism, such as Ghana. Uh, Ghana. Uh, certain countries have uh, characteristics uh, of a socialist system, such as Great Britain with its uh, socialized medicine. Uh, these, then, are the differences between an outright communist country and countries which adhere to leftist or Marxist uh, uh, principles. In your work with the Fair Play for Cuba Committee, uh, what are you advocating? We advocate restoration of diplomatic, trade, and tourist relations with Cuba. Jim Reeves, welcoming you back to South Africa is like saying hello again to an old friend. Thank you, Neville, very much. It's so wonderful to be back. And uh, even though it's quite early, as a matter of fact, I see the sun just peeping up. We have quite a crowd here, and uh, the uh, press, radio are well represented. And I'm very happy to be back. I'm wondering if you know just how popular you are in South Africa. Well, I did know, Neville. I hope I'm still as popular as last trip. We had such a wonderful reception on our last visit to South Africa. You're particularly popular amongst the Afrikaans-speaking section of our community. Uh, I think perhaps, Jim, that is because you have sung so many songs in Afrikaans now, and I'm sure they admire your, your efforts in that direction. Well, I hope so, Neville. I don't have a thorough understanding of the language, but 